hi, I'm Greg Lee. I'm the area publisher from Tri-Cities, Washington, about four hours away from here. Uh, my talk is uh, how you can have a profitable magazine, uh, specifically 12-page. Um, that's pretty much what I've done from the beginning, and I've been, I got the magazine in fall of uh, 2012. So, uh, much to the prodding of my brother and wanting me to grow physically my magazine, um, it hasn't happened, but I want to go through and kind of show you some of the reasons what I've got a 12 page and how I've made a 12 page pretty profitable. Um, so to start off, um, and yes, Jim, I will be growing my magazine and when I go through <laughs> some of the stuff, I'm, I'm going to put some numbers down. I'm a numbers kind of guy. My background is an engineer. I still do engineering. I run a, I, I co-own an engineering company and I still do engineering business um, to this day. And so um, I stay busy and then I have two girls and that keeps me busy too. So. Um, what I'm going to go through and kind of show you on um, on a magazine is typically on a 12-page magazine, I, I mail to 15,000. So we'll you know, put that right out there. You know, some people maybe mail to 30, some maybe to 50. Uh, this is based on a 15,000 15, zone. I have two zones that I do this. Um, I want to go through and I want to show you a breakdown of where some of your monies go and, and how you can improve your profitability on a, a given magazine. And then going from, say, a 12 page to a 16, what your costs are and how your cost per ad will go down as you increase from your in increasing size of your magazine from a 12 to a 16 to a 20 to a 24 page. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down kind of a graph here and it's going to be for the um, the print cost, the postage, your graphic artist, um, your surcharge and B and O tax, and <coughs> that should essentially be it for what we have for costs. Um, so then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basing on this. I'm going to base this on a. And this is going to be for pages, for like a 12 page book, a 16, a 20, and a 24. Oh. So, what we're going to find here is um, as you're going through and, and doing your books and your magazines. Um, on average, for your for your like a 12 page book, you're gonna your cost for, for printing, and these numbers are, are rounded off. We actually have uh, some the actual numbers, but they're rounded off just for number sake so you can guys kind of see things. Um, but it's just to give you a general idea. So your your for a 12 page book, you're gonna have a cost of about 37.50. Your postage is going to be about twenty-five hundred. Your graphic artist, and now this is going to vary a little bit, but um, maybe you're like around. Uh, actually, sorry, the, like your, your your print will probably be more like around thirty-five hundred. There's some numbers that change around a little bit, but the numbers have the same. Um, your uh, graphic artist might be higher or lower than this. So for a twelve page, maybe around eleven fifty. And then your uh, B-No surcharge tax, somewhere in there, that, that ends up to be combined about uh, $425, I think it is. And so the total 
for the cost for a <coughs> book for a 12 is going to be somewhere around $7,500. That's for your cost of goods. So that surcharge is only for the Washington State APs, by the way. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, and so that will vary a little bit. And, and that, um, so uh, your cost of goods will be about $7,500. So what this ends up being is um, when you have your magazine, you can go for a page count and a cost for your page. You can divide that amount, a 12-page magazine, you can divide the, the 7,500 into, for by, if it's the 12 page, and it gives you about a $625 page count, if it's, if it's the 12 pages, right? Um, some people want to, if you don't sell your front cover, so to get a true accurate reflection of actually what you, your cost is per page, if you don't sell your, your page or your front cover, then you can divide that 7,500 by 11, so not include any revenue from your front page. Um, and that'll bring your cost up a little bit higher to about, so if it's for 11 pages, it brings it up to about $680. If you do a, and this is what I, I do, I figure that if I don't sell my cover and I put an events calendar in, in my magazine, which is a half of a page vertical, and I don't get any revenue off of that, my true cost is divided by 10 and a half pages, and it comes up to be about $715 a page. So this way, when you know when you go out and you're selling, if you, if you sell your cover, and say you get an events calendar sponsor, your cost per page will go down, but if I don't sell my cover, and if I don't sell my events calendar, I only sell the ad space I have in the magazine, I know that each page is gonna, it, I need to have $715 in revenue in order to break even for that. And then anything else after that is gonna cover your cost. Uh, you know, it's your income, basically. So, um, if you go through and if you uh, do, say, like, uh, a 12 page book, on average you're going to have about 30, 30 ads. Is that fair to say, Jim? Well, fair. 30. Okay. 30. So, 30 ads, um, if you go through and, and uh, with the cost of your book of being 7500 and would you say it's maybe twelve to $13,000 for revenue for a, for a book like that? Yeah, fair? Probably somewhere around 12, 13, 14, yeah. Okay. Um, so, if you sell it for seventy five hundred, and say you you want to, and and say your your revenue is twelve thousand, that's forty five hundred dollars profit to you to make a twelve thousand dollar book. Um, there's a lot more potential for that. Uh, I've gone through, and um, if you if you sell thirty ads, and say you you make the the forty five hundred dollar profit, uh, that comes out to be if you have thirty ads in a magazine, that comes out to be the cost per ad of about $400 an ad. Now, one of the ways that I've gone through, and my magazine before was a 50,000, and when I bought it from the people, my local small merchants, they couldn't afford a seven, eight, $900 ad. So I decided to run it on the model that Jim has proven is successful is 15,000. So I have the two zones of 15,000. What it allowed me to do was, to lower my ad cost because I'm only mailing to 15,000, not to 50. I think when they had the postage for that, it was, uh, well, does somebody have a 50,000 or anybody? But it's about like $8,000. Yeah, eight, 9,000. Yeah, 8, 9, yeah, so I mean, you know, so you drive your cost up. Um, your, your print size stays the same, your graphics stays the same, but your postage really goes up because you're mailing so many. So I made it so it was affordable to target and market my uh, smaller merchants who could afford a lower price ad and it was more local. So, uh, and where I live, it's probably, we maybe have, we just exceeded I mean, in the last few years uh, in the general area, 250,000 people. So that put us on a new market for a lot of the national brands uh, uh, saying, oh, they got a quarter million people there. So, you know, they start coming in and, and a little more growth that way. We, we still have stuff. It's not like we have one stoplight, but 
uh, you know, we're, <laughs> you know, 35, you know, 40 miles across distance from town, and, and we have some rivers that cut through and stuff like that. But um, what I wanted to get at is um, because some of my merchants wanted to stay with a smaller ad, I ended up going in and um, instead of a and say 28 to 30 ads for 12 page, um, I've, I do 35 to, uh, my highest has been 42 ads in a 12 page. Um, and, you know, Jim was amazed because he says that's, that's like a 16, maybe even going towards a 20, depending on the, the ad size, right? Um, and when I got that, I'm trying to talk to these people and get them to, um, increase the, the size of their ad, but it's just they're locked in where they want it, and it's like, okay, that's fine. Um, Can I ask you a quick question? Sure, Jerry, go ahead. What is the most common size? I mean, are you big on the quarter pagers, or um, do you do six pagers in uh, I In my magazine, when I did the 42, I had a, a, a six and one-thirds, a lot of those. I maybe had a couple pages that were um, the quarter pages and, and half, but predominantly I did, um, so I wasn't all, my magazine wasn't all 12 pages of one six ads, no. I had half pages, I had third pages, um, quarter so, pages, but predominantly. So you had the luxury of doing third pages and on the same page you could do two six pages. Correct, commonly in my magazine, I would, I would end up having something um, like, uh, I'd have something like this where I would have um, a third page, a couple of six, and another third page, um, and, you know, and you can see a third, a third, and a third, that kind of a thing. Um, but you know, and here I have some where, and this is the most recent one. I had you know like a full page, but that takes up you know a lot of cuts into my ad count. I have, but uh, um, you know, going in and you know having an events calendar, that kind of thing. You can see it's like here again, I have a third, two six, and a third. Here I've got some six going up, and an events calendar sponsor who. If I can't get somebody to be an exact events calendar sponsor, I like to be able to, when I go out to my next zone to sell or went back to this zone with this magazine, I'll put one of my ads in there and I'll shorten my events calendar to have them say, see, look, these were an events calendar sponsor. Sometimes I like to get like an insurance guy to put in, but if they don't want to do it, I'll take one of my ads and, and, I, and with permission of the owner and we'll put it in there. And so that way, it looks like I have an events calendar sponsor. Um, it's not somebody dedicated, but it's an ad that goes in and it allows me the next time I go out to sell it, well see, these, these guys sponsor the events calendar. And they also had a coupon they wanted on there. You know, say you get an insurance stages, he goes in, you know, to put his picture in that thing, a realtor or something like that. So, um, uh, to, to give you an idea, if you, if you have 30 ads in a, in a 12 page magazine, um, and say you say you made you know the 7,500 is your cost, and you made 4,500 dollars profit, which is easy to do. Um, it'll come out if you have 30 ads. You divide that into your your 12,000 dollars. It comes up to be about 400 dollars an ad. So obviously, I'm not selling my one sixth ads at 400 dollars. Um, you know, so you have a third page if it's 446, or if it's even higher if it's a one time. And I try to stick to that rate. Somebody says, you know, well, okay, if somebody has a one sixth ad in there, and and uh, you know, you should get two ninety six. You know, what's the lowest you take? Well, you know, it depends on if I'm coming in and I'm trying to fill up the book and what I'm doing. But you know what? I'll take two seventy five all day long. I'll even take two fifty because you take two fifty for an ad, you get six of them on a page. That's fifteen hundred dollars, and your page cost is going to be somewhere around you know six hundred seven hundred dollars so you know your profit on that is somewhere around you know uh, seven eight nine hundred dollars per page exactly so um, when I did I'll be honest with you when I did my 42 page or 42 page wow Ooh, 42 words. yeah that's coming out you haven't seen it yet when I did my 42 ad 12 page book um, to let you know, uh, I netted over ten thousand dollars. Wow! Good Lord! Because, Amen. A twelve-page book. 12 12 book. 
Wow. Yeah. In a 15k zone. In a 15k. That's amazing, right? And that doesn't so, include, that doesn't include some of the trade I did on Sunday. What did you average right. in for your yeah. 42 yeah. ads? Yeah. You must have averaged about 400 or more. Yeah, I mean, if I'll be honest, some of the ones if they were, I would go in and and if the people said, well, okay, if you if you want to spend, um, you know, four times and it's 296 for four. Sometimes I give them the, 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 the test drive of, okay, you know what, two back-to-back -back issues, same issue. I won't, because I have two zones, I won't let somebody want to run in one and run in the other because it's not fair then because they need to have typically five to seven touches or impressions. People have to look at it five to seven times in order to see it. In our magazine, um, you'll probably get maybe two or three. So running two issues back-to-back -back will at least enforce how the people um, – see the coupon and, and, and we'll get redemptions. So I made them run um, back to back in the same magazine or if they wanted to do both zones, I made them run two of them and I'd make them a, you know, a deal. If I, if, uh, you know, if it came down to it, I would always stay on my uh, four time amount and I might give them to them for two times, so 296. If it brought it down, you know, maybe I brought it down to 225 but what I did was I took 225 cash, but I always bumped it up, and I always, I always um, got more value out of it if I got some trade or something out of them to bring it back up to about that $300. Because I don't want them to think that I'll just take 250 and nothing. I will take a 250. I'll take a 225, and then, you know if it's like 50 or 75 dollar uh, trade, you know, with would be a restaurant for food or, or whatever it is, right? Uh, uh, a, a general store that has, you know, like a, a hardware store, so I can go in and I can buy whatever I want. I have a store credit, and I need light bulbs, or I need, you know, a pair of a pair of pants or something like that. They sell. Um, I'll I'll do some of that, um, but I'm, I limit out my some of my trade because some of the stuff, you know, if it's not good to you, then you know, unless you have, if it's not good for your use, but you might have it in mind that you might give. Uh, something to one of your clients, and maybe a, a gift. Like, say you get a gift certificate for some restaurants. Say you get seventy-five dollars. Well, get maybe two twenty-five or three twenty-five dollar gift cards, and then maybe give those to one of your recurring clients who's always in and is, is never hassled. They pay on time. You know what? Hey, thank you for your business. Mm -hmm. I want to give this to you for you to go. Guys, go out. Um, it works great. Cameron. I use those two uh, little incentives, and I actually I buy little things with my iTex. I I bribe employees to help me get a hold of business owners, basically, and I tell them I'm like I'll bribe you, you know, kind of smiling, and because um, I don't know about you guys, but there's just merchants sometimes where the decision makers really hard to track down, never around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So as well as thank yous, which I totally agree with, I use them as sales tools too. Right, as a gateway to the owner. Gateway yeah. or closing tools or whatever. Right, right. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you about was on a 12-page magazine, thank you, um, if you have 30 ads and you have a $12,000 revenue, um, that comes out to be about $400 an ad. If you go through and you add another five more ads, because you're not giving it away free, your price, you, you might increase and give yourself another $2,000 of profit. Because if you're getting 400, average $400 an ad, right? You add 10 ads in a magazine like that, which is about what I did, and you can increase $4,000. If it's $400 an ad, you add 10 more ads in, you're increasing four thousand, so you're going from a twelve thousand dollar revenue on a book to sixteen thousand. So you can make it really healthy, and and you try to, you know, if you get a lower cash price, but you still try to get something on the other side of a, of a, of a trade or whatnot. Um, and I and in that when I did that forty two pages, that that over ten thousand dollars, that did not include the trade I got, because Jenna said, you know, trade is, you know, you. Can't pay your bills of trade. It's like, yeah, you, you can't. So, um, what I wanted to go through and, and just kind of show you is that um, here's what you get for when you have like a 12 page. And and I'm probably preaching to the you know the choir the, the guys that are doing the you know 20 pages and 24s and that kind of stuff. But I want to show you something for some some of the newer people in here. 
what if we go to a, a 16 page book? What's our cost? What's it going to be? Can um, I ask you one more question? I didn't even interrupt you. The 16 page is important. Is your retention rate equal to or greater with the six pagers and quarter pagers as it is with the third pagers? Actually, my third pagers stay in my retention for them is better than some of my quarter or my my, my six yeah, because some of my six dominant. they'll 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 run it and um, they like it. But if if I have somebody come in and if it's on a say if they're my six pager and it's a two twenty five with some trade and I've got somebody else who's going to come in and they want and I and got you know is it profitable for selling a a, a one third ad which gets a lot more impact. At 446, then if I have two at 225, 216 at 225, that ends up being close to the 450, and here's your 446 for a third. It gets a better impact with the larger size ad, but if the merchant doesn't want to upsize from a 16 to a, say a quarter or even to a third, then um, I'll, I'll let them go. Bottom line, if they don't pay me the money, then, uh, then uh, you know, you know, do I have the luxury of doing that? Yeah, but I, I create that luxury of doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't go to grovel and go, you know, oh, I need somebody. Yeah, does it come down to the end that that somebody cancels out last minute and and, and you know you're trying to scramble and fill it? I have a list of people that from each zone that if they are on that lower price. That 225, I'll go and I'll call and say, hey, like you know, Jim says, you don't say, oh, somebody canceled, you know, and it, it's all about posture and control, you know. Oh, somebody canceled, I need to fill the spot. Okay, oh, hey, we'll give you a hundred bucks. Uh, okay, no, no, I go to them and say, look, I'm putting the finishing touch on my magazine, and I've got some spots available, and here, let's, uh, uh, I'm willing to do the 225 and 75 trade again. And what do you want to have for your offer? I don't ask if they want to do it. What do you want to have for the offer this time? I just automatically assume for that price, I'm giving it to them. And you know what? They don't resist. Because I don't ask them, do you want to do it? I'll just say, what do you want to have? And they're like, because they already know. I already put the price that's, this is normally for my four-time rate, $300. And I'm giving it to you for 250 or 225 And you know what? There's no... There's no um, uh, graphic artist charge anymore. If you want to change that's fine. I put value on that so that they perceive that and then they jump in and they like that. So I, I'm, I'm running out of time here, but let me, uh, let me run through. If you have a 16 page book, so if we fill in some of the numbers, so it, it's only about a, a $1,300 increase to go from a 12 to that. So here's the breakdown is what you end up getting is about. Uh, uh, Forty-five hundred dollars for your for your print, um, which is only about like uh, plus a thousand dollars more. Um, your your postage stays the same, and and remember that you increase the size of your book, your postage still remains the same. If you still, I mean, unless you increase your number you mail, but if you're still doing fifteen thousand homes. It remains, and so that, that's a great factor in terms of having that. Your graphic artist, that's going to go up a little bit. It might go up, say, uh, to, to 1350 so maybe $200 more. And your, uh, uh, your uh, you know, surcharge, that might go up to, say, five and a quarter. That's $100 more. And it is, again, Jim said it's only, so your total cost of goods for the book is like $8,800. So, for another thirteen hundred dollars, you can go from a twelve to a to a sixteen page magazine. I want to show you something. Here is my twelve page magazine. Do you think that I could have taken some of these guys that are a little bit the one sixth and upsizing them a little bit, and I add four more pages in, I'm now at a 16. $1,300 for that, for these 
to, up, to upgrade the size, right? Let's look at what it costs you per page. You're adding four more pages. It's 330 bucks per page. You sell one ad, a one-sixth ad, for $296. You've essentially paid, and anything else after that is profit. Remember, $1,300 for this. So you divide it by four pages, the 336, right? Mm -hmm. Or 333? You sell one ad, all the rest of that is gravy. Okay, so, well, I can't, if I had that many people, I'd have a 16. Yeah, okay, so you know what? You start early, you start often, and you go out, mm -hmm. and you build that, and you get the momentum going. If it comes down to it, you know what? Maybe you go back to some of those people that I had that were a one-third, and or like a one sixth, and say, hey, you know what? I'll sell it to you for for two fifty in some trade. Well, you know what? Boom, that takes care of it. If I have all the rest, that's just revenue coming in. Do you think that maybe if it really comes down to the last of it, and you say, well, you have a third page, and you know what? You're a brand new. I'm going to give you a screaming deal. Introductory offer. Not but price, don't. But don't price off the one time rate. Half price off the one time. It's still revenue, new money coming into your pocket. Sure. So it really, you know, yeah, for me having 12 pages and then doing a, a super ad account of 42, but just think if, impressive. if I would have gone in and done even more and bumped it to a 16 page and it's only $1,300 more. Let's, real quick, just for you who want to think a little higher and go outside the box. You do a 20 pager, your cost is going to be about $10,250. And if you do a 24 page, it's going to be about $11,200. So you can see going from a 16 page to a 20 page, you've got about, uh, what is it, about $1,600 somewhere in there? And again, you're adding four more pages, so 1,600, so that's 400 a page. So if you sell, if you sell a one page, uh, or you sell a, a quarter page ad at 371, the rest is all profit. So you can see that being stuck on 12 is your least profitable magazine. I made a twist on it, and I, I kind of put it on steroids by having 42. Commonly, I have 35, 36, and most have 20, you know, and so. To maximize the quarter page and six page sizes, correct? In order to get right. that 42 with the 12 pages. Correct, yeah, because I only have so much real estate. My, my 12 pages is the same as your 12. It's a good idea, but, and I, if it works, it works. But the retention rate sometimes, I mean, there's, there's something. That's why you have to get out and keep calling on people. Time, and maybe years. maybe my six to seven people that I that I lose for attrition, but you know what? So I put, I replace them with eight or nine instead. But you know what? I go back to the people that did the offer. Maybe they were seasonal. I go back to them again. Then they come back in. And, and the more you go out and the more this arsenal you build up of, of advertisers, the more you can call back on them and say, you know what? You know, when you've got this additional four pages and, it's, and the rest is profit, you know what, would you rather have them in or not? And it's just additional revenue for you. Sure. But you need to have like, a, you know, probably about a two week lead time before you have to have start turned in to do this because Jim's got to call journal and tell him, you know, from, he can't say, oh, they're switching from 12 to 16 because they've already ordered the paper a week and a half before. So you, you, you got to plan. That's why you got to get out early, get out often. But you can see that you go from a 12 to a 16 if it's only an additional 1,300, and, and how you bump up and how you can increase your profitability. So anyway, I hope everybody has uh, a great time with their magazine and, and, and if you have questions, I've also got a spreadsheet that has been created that I can email you guys. And you can put this stuff in and then track your, your stuff. It's an Excel spreadsheet and it's, it, you look at it and it'll tell you and it even goes tells you what you have for restaurants. Um, so you, your account, that kind of thing, it just helps you like when Jim is talking about his hometown vital list. Um, it's a health check on it, and you can kind of look at that and glance at your business and kind of look back and just see it. So, anyway, hope that works out. If you have any Good. questions, you feel free to email me, call me, whatever, and I'll be happy to help you out. That was great. Thank you. Good job.